HeyGen has a feature called Avatar 4, which lets you create a lip sync video from a single photo and then either uploaded audio or audio you create using a script and the voices on the HeyGen platform. Now this is a little different than the main avatar feature on HeyGen, where you either use one of their stock avatars or you create your own avatar using multiple images or a video that you record and upload. But Avatar 4 is a good option when you have a single image and you want to create an AI lip sync video without building a complete avatar. I've been playing around with Avatar 4. I'm going to show you how my talking images have been turning out and then I'll show you how to use Avatar 4 to create an AI lip sync video from an image. Let's Let's take a look. First up is a feisty grandma. Yeah, they call me sweet now. <laughs> but that's not what they said when I stole that cop car in 78. Overall, that came out good. The only thing I saw was when she chuckled or giggled, it didn't seem like her movement really matched that part. Next, we'll hear from this lady who just had a suspicious encounter with a squirrel. I just saw a squirrel bury something and it looked at me like I wasn't supposed to know about it. It felt like at the very end the sink was a little off, but I really like how she looked over to her left when she was talking about seeing the squirrel, maybe indicating the squirrel was over that direction, and that just made it seem more authentic. If you stare at my hat long enough, you'll hear secrets about the bass player's mom. I don't know what he just admitted to, but the sink looks good, and I like how Avatar 4 is animating what's happening in the background. Now we might think we should be hearing the music and not just his voice, but Let's just say there's a soundproof glass between him and the band. You might be wondering if I know what I'm doing, and frankly, so am I, so please lower your expectations accordingly. That's just a strange fella there. I wanted him to be a little more animated in his expressions, and I tried several times, but I couldn't get it to do any better. That, of course, may be just poor prompting on my part. First day on the job, and I've already misplaced something called the Master Shipment. Should be fine, right? Aside from it being his first and possibly last day at work, the sink felt a little bit off to me. I tried this one three times, and I guess this was the best of the three, but the other two were very similar. Next, I tried this husky. Unless you're the lead dog, the view never changes, and neither does the smell. And that didn't work, so I tried to rerun it. Unless you're the lead dog, the view never changes, and neither does the smell. And that didn't work either, so... Hey, Bob, I think I know what went wrong there. Okay, Georgia, let's hear it. So the image of the dog that you used, his mouth was closed, and Lip Sync in Avatar 4 seems to work better if the subject's mouth is slightly open. So if I'm creating an AI image for Lip Sync, I should make it so that the subject's mouth isn't closed, but kind of open? Yeah, if the mouth is completely closed, the AI might not be able to figure out what to animate, especially for non-human characters. If it does, it has to figure out what the teeth are supposed to look like. On the other hand, if you start with an image where the subject is smiling big or has a wide open mouth, that can create some weird results too. So, mouth slightly open is the best bet. Well, thanks. That's good to know. By the way, Georgia isn't real. She's one of the stock avatars in the main avatar feature of HeyGen that I was talking about at the beginning of this video. Back to our Avatar 4 single photo lip sync stuff, let's try this news guy. Alex here with KBob News, live at the scene. I'm not sure what scene, but the lighting's nice. This one cracks me up, but I wanted him to kind of look around while he was talking, so I tried adding some custom motion, and here's how that turned out. Alex here with KBob News, live at the scene. I'm not sure what scene, but the lighting's nice. Well, I didn't want him to start looking around so early in the video, but it's pretty funny. I tried wording it a little differently and got this. Alex here with KBob News, live at the scene. I'm not sure what scene, but the lighting's nice. Now, I might be asking too much to try and get a certain gesture or expression at a specific time in the video, or maybe I just haven't figured out how to prompt that right. But something else in this video, on the left side of the screen, there's somebody walking backward that seems to cross paths with their clone, and then the clone gets absorbed by another person walking toward them. And I think in all three versions, the cars on the street are going backward. Let's see what this cat can do. Sometimes I wonder if humans know I'm in charge. Then they serve me breakfast at 3 a.m., and that removes any doubts. Doesn't quite look like the movement's lining up, but then again, if cats spoke human words, maybe that's what it would look like. Now let's try a 3D cartoon dog. Hey, if you see a duck in a top hat wandering around, tell him the password is spatula. 
He'll know what to do. Again, I feel like the sink is a little loose, but maybe I'm being too picky. We definitely get the idea that the dog is talking, and by the way, I'm definitely not getting involved in relaying a password from a talking dog in a library to a duck in a top hat. If that goes bad, nobody's believing my story. Now for a different cartoon style. What a beautiful day in the park. The sun is shining, the birds are singing, and nobody suspects that I buried anything here last night. Couldn't you just tell from the beginning that this woman was so happy it was creepy? To create a video using Avatar 4, we need to be logged into HeyGen. This is the main page. We'll come down here and click Photo to Video with Avatar 4. This screen pops up, and the main things we need to do here are give it a photo. It says for best results, choose a photo that's at least 720p and has a clear view of the face. I'm going to drag in a photo of a dog. Now we need to give it some audio, which we can do by either typing out a script and selecting a voice, or we can click Upload or Record Audio, and either upload an audio file or record our audio here in HeyGen. For the examples I've shown so far, I've uploaded audio that I generated in 11 Labs. You know, HeyGen has some Eleven Labs voices built right into the platform. Yes, HeyGen does have a number of Eleven Labs voices right here within the HeyGen platform, and that's great. It's not all of the Eleven Labs voices, but if you can find what you need right here on HeyGen, go for it. For this one, we'll go ahead and use HeyGen's text-to-speech. I'll give it a little script for our dog to say, and then we'll come down and click on Select Voice. They've got quite a few voices to choose from. You can scroll and scroll, click See More if you want to keep on going. And up at the top, you can filter these. They've got filters for the language. We'll stick with English, the accent, the emotion. Looks like the only option is all. And then more filters over here on the right. We can specify that we want male or female, which use case we're looking for, like conversational, ads and social, and so on. The voice age, and we can select only show things that we've favorited. If you want to sample what the voice sounds like, just click the play button. Hey there, here's how I sound. Hope you like it. The right voice brings avatar videos to life. Let's see what else we have. Hey there, here's how I sound. Hope you like it. The right voice brings avatar videos to life. Hey there, here's how I sound. Hope you like it. The right voice brings avatar videos to life. Hey there, here's how I sound. Hope you like it. The right voice brings avatar videos to life. That's going to be perfect for our dog, so that's what we're going to use. But also on this screen, you have this Create New Voice button, and you can either clone your voice with instant voice cloning by recording or uploading an audio, or you can generate a new voice from a text prompt. You can also integrate a third-party voice. If there's something specific you want, that would be from platforms like Eleven Labs. You would need to provide your API key from that platform to make the connection. We're going to stick with our Spud's voice. Now that we have a script in there and we've selected a voice, if we click the play button next to the voice, we'll be able to preview the audio based on that script and the voice we selected. You might say, I'm outstanding in my field, but that wouldn't be completely accurate because I'm actually sitting. That sounds pretty good to me. Next is custom motion, which is optional. You can describe the gestures or facial expressions that you want if there's something specific that you want your character to do in this video. If not, it's going to infer the gestures and the facial expressions and all that from the audio. By default, this more expressive motion is turned on, and I've left that on for all of these. It says it enables more dynamic gestures and expressions. That sounds good to me. You can also toggle on Avatar 4 Turbo for three times faster generation. And I almost forgot but over here under our photo, we can specify whether we want that portrait 9 to 16 or we want landscape 16 by 9. Right before the generation button, you have the resolution. You can choose from 720p or 1080p. On the free plan, it's limited to 720p. On the paid plan, you can go up to 1080. So that's what we'll do and click generate video. Hey, John drops you on your projects page and shows you the progress of your video right here. And when it's ready, click to play. Our doggy's all done. Let's see how he turned out. You might say, I'm outstanding in my field, but that wouldn't be completely accurate because I'm actually sitting. Not too bad. Starting with this image where his mouth was slightly open seems to have done a lot better than our husky where I started with an image where his mouth was closed. Also, Avatar 4 generations are non-deterministic, so if we run it again, we might get an entirely different result. To do that, we'll close out the preview, click the three dots, and then click Edit as New. And that brings us back to this assembly screen where we put everything together, we can make any changes we want, and click Generate Video and get another version.
And to create something like the video of Georgia, who's been popping in and out, you'd go to this create video button and there's a lot you can do within that, but it would be a whole entire video unto itself. But I figured I'd at least show you the starting point if you're interested in that. Now, when it comes to pricing, HeyGen does have a free tier. You'll be limited to 720p for the export resolution. They will have a watermark on the free tier. And for Avatar 4, which is the feature we've been talking about today, where you can use a single image and add the audio and create a lip sync video, you'll be limited to three uses a month and a max duration of 15 seconds per video or a total of 45 seconds for the month. On the creator plan at $29 a month, you get a total of five minutes per month and a max duration of 60 seconds per video with the Avatar 4 videos. And on the creator tier, you also get rid of the watermarks and you're able to export up to 1080p. And HeyGen has a bunch of other features in addition to the Avatar 4 model. Of course, they give you a discount for going yearly and it brings it down to $24 a month for the creator plan. I'll leave a link to HeyGen in the description. It will be an affiliate link, which means if you end up making a purchase, you don't have to. I may receive a small commission at no additional cost to you. Now, I sincerely appreciate that. It helps keep the lights on and I like not being in the dark. By the way, my name is Bob. Thank you for hanging out with me. I hope you found this video helpful or at least amusing. And I hope you come back and see me in another video.